So we are halfway through to make this gorgeous sea surface animation in P5JS. In the part 1, we got the steel image of the sea surface. Mm, that looks beautiful, but because the computational cost is too high, that's killing the frame rate. So I came up with the idea that what about we move all the calculation part, which is between the load pixels and the update pixels, into the function setup at here. And I make a new array, wave. And I store all the pixel information of every frame in the array wave here, instead of array pixels. Then in the draw function, I access the new array wave and assign all the values to the array pixels. Hmm, it looks exactly the same. But if we see the console, yeah, now we got high frame per second. Since as I mentioned, now it finishes all the calculations in the function setup. And just display the values in the function draw. So now we're gonna animate the sea surface just like this. If you look carefully, you notice the animation actually looping. The feature points just orbiting the elliptical path, but the simple movements add up together and create this complex movement. So First, I want to define a number of the animation frame here. For now, let's go with a smaller number like 60. Hmm. Next, I again make an another array called init point. That means initial points. We store the location vectors of the feature points here, but now I replace this to the init point and treat them as a location of feature points at very first frame of the animation. Next, right after prepare the initial points for frame 0, I make a for loop to iterate all the frames. Inside here, I assign a blank array into the array points. Right below, I put a one more loop here to iterate all the initial points. So what I want to do at here is adding some kind of process to the initial points vectors to make them orbiting the elliptical path, then store in the array points. If you follow my channel for a long time, then you probably came up with how to make them move on elliptical path. Yes, that's polar coordinate system. Okay, I just made the offset for x and y using the polar coordinate system. For the frequencies, I use the frame index multiplied by 6 as the currently uh, frame length is 60, right? And we want to go through the degrees from 0 to 360 in order to make the points came back to the same location at very last frame, right? So if the frame length is like 90, then this coefficient is going to be 4. Or if the frame up to 120, then this is going to be 3. Or maybe I should write like this. I close the final result for now, and yeah, this is our current progress. Okay, for now, let's display the animation, but with only the feature points. So, I, in the draw function, now I comment out the part drawing all the pixels. Okay, and this is for the feature points, but because we need to specify that display the points in which frame, so we need to fill in here with the index value, right? since now the array points is a 2D array. So I make a variable frame index and I assign reminder of the frame count divided by the animation length. So it's gonna keep looping. Okay, now I assign the frame index at here. Okay, let's refresh the page. Oh, cannot read undefined value. Hmm, why I'm seeing this error? Ah, I figured out. We also need to specify the frame index at here. So I refresh the page again. Ooh, <laughs> every movement is matching here. Because in a setup function, I set the same radius and frequency for all the feature points here. So to make them move differently, we need to put an individual value at the frequency term. That could be a random value or just use this individual xy coordinate values. 
So I add the x value here and let's see what happens. Hmm, that already looks great. So let's also add the y value here. Okay, I think that's really okay, good. But maybe I want to slow down a bit, so I set the frame length to 120. All right, I think this is perfect for me. Okay, so finally let's make all the pixels animate along with these points. So now in the setup function, we store all the pixel data into this array called wave, right? But now we need to generate 120 of them. <laughs> so I make a loop to iterate through the animation frame. Okay, then move the nested loop into that for loop. Okay, and inside of the outer for loop, I put a blank array into the array wave to make it 2D array. So now, since the array wave and another array points are the 2D arrays, so when we access the values in the two arrays in this nested loop, we need to specify the frame index. Next, in the draw function, I comment out the feature points, and instead uncomment this segment, and specify the frame index here. Uh, no, not here. The array pixel is one dimensional, so that's not. We need to specify the frame index at here, when we access to the 2D array wave, right? And in addition, this increment should be 4, not 1. And lastly, I go back to the setup function. Inside of the for loop, which goes through the frames, I output the generating the data for each frame. Because preparing all the frame data takes a while. So let's refresh the page. Yeah, it's generating the data. It takes a while. This is our final result. Hey, by the way, if you are new to my channel, check this another video at the top right here, which we create some planets using Polynoise in P5.js. That's very exciting.